Bobbin. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bobbin, this way. Now, this is a secret how we do this, and we can't really show you. I'm holding up a... I am William Wegman, and I am the dog photographer, but I think of myself as an artist who draws and paints and takes photographs, sometimes with dogs, almost always with Weimaraners. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> they want the attention. They want to be looked at. They want to be chosen. They want to be elevated. Make me higher than the rest of the dogs. You start to identify with them as what they're personifying. And even though you know it's not true, they're not really a little boy or a Cinderella or whatever, you, your mind kind of wants that. You, you want to believe it. And suddenly they shock you by suspending it and sniffing pee or doing something very not Cinderella-like. <laughs> Licking up barf or something. When I'm working with them and something's not working out, I learned a long time ago that I can't get upset because they think that for the first time, it's their fault. And they go, you know, I get that, like... <laughs> this is Faye, and she was very symmetrical, very hypnotic. She'd zero in right on the lens, pretend I'm Faye, and I'm looking at you, and you're me. Ready, Faye? She would then go like this every time. This is your mom, Crookie. This is your mom. Eh. She never liked Crookie. This is called Treasury Edition, and it's got my name and it's a collection of all of my favorite pictures for children. Dressing up a dog as a person is, I think, not a very good thing. But when I do it, it's fine. It's okay for me, just not good for anyone else. I'm really turning them into some sort of mythical characters. I'm not just making fools out of them. I'm making them look grand, but I also know that I'm just pretending. And that doesn't mean I treat them like dogs. I treat them like dogs. Man Ray was my first dog, and he I got him at six weeks old, which is two weeks sooner than you should ever have a dog. Whenever I was working with him, he behaved. So I'd try to do my own work, which I thought was my own work, drive me crazy. So I go, oh, I guess I should be working with you. The very last pictures of Man Ray were really very attentive to him. They were a way of holding on to him, getting closer and closer, the, the, big, the big heads. Um, we're just a way of saying, don't go, or if you go, give me this at least. Oh, Batty. Hey, she's losing her legs. When these 12-year-old dogs go, I'm going to be left with a kind of uh, emptiness in my soul, that's for sure. You OK, honey? Poor Batty. Mm -hmm. This is probably the last year I'm going to be able to get five dogs to lie down together and just snooze out while I do all of this work around. I, so it's probably the end of this line, and it is sort of sad because I love working with them. They're the muse, but I'm also their muse. I'm what they like to study. They're like what I like to study. I wonder if in their mind they would uh, they imprint me and composing pictures of their beloved Bill, I don't know. <laughs>